spread your light and share the dawn. Grab your chance before it's gone. Take the flame and pass it on. I'm Kurt Dahl, co-president of the Federation of Gay Games. And I'm Emmy Ritt, co-president of the Federation of Gay Games. Our federation is made up of over 50 sport and culture organizations located in Europe, North and South America, Africa, and Australia. In just 15 months, over 10,000 athletes and artists will come together in Cleveland and Akron, Ohio for the 2014 Gay Games presented by the Cleveland Foundation. They'll take part in more than 35 sports and cultural events in the spirit of the Gay Games motto, participation, inclusion, and personal best. But even as we help prepare for Gay Games 9, we are also working to select the host for Gay Games 10 in 2018. For several years, cities around the world have been working towards hosting this event, the world's largest amateur sport and cultural festival open to all young and old, men and women, gay and straight, beginners and experts. Last year, in July 2012, groups from seven cities, Amsterdam, Limerick, London, Orlando, Paris, Rio de Janeiro, and Sao Paulo, took the first step in making their dream a reality by requesting information on submitting their bid for Gay Games 10. Some of these groups joined us at the FGG 2012 Annual General Assembly in Sofia, Bulgaria to learn more about the gay games movement. Last year, at the end of August 2012, five cities submitted a letter of intent to bid for Gay Games 10 2018. Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, Brazil chose not to continue at this time. We wish them the best of luck in their state and national games, including their projects for a Pride House during the coming FIFA World Cup and the 2016 Summer Olympics. We look forward to Brazil's participation in bidding for future gay games, perhaps among the more than a dozen other cities that have already expressed their interest in hosting Gay Games 11 in 2022. On February 28th of this year, all five cities submitted their bid books for Gay Games 10. They are Amsterdam, Limerick, London, Orlando, and Paris. These bid books have been available to everyone for consultation on the Gay Games website, 2018.gaygames.org. The five 300-page bid books represent countless hours of work from the local bid committees. The bid books convey each group's vision of how they will create the best gay games ever while remaining faithful to FTG's requirements for programming, content, venues, and prudent financial planning, all under the guiding principles of participation, inclusion, and personal best. Since February, bidders have continued to work on their bid while answering nearly 400 questions submitted by members of the gay games community. For the first time, the general public has also participated in these questions and answer sessions. The responses from the five bidding organizations have clarified many points and elaborated on how their plans will advance the Gay Games mission of equality. The Gay Games 10 bidders have demonstrated their desire to ensure the best competitive and performing experience for thousands of athletes and artists who will be welcomed in 2018. And now, we have the great honor to announce the three bidding organizations that have been selected by the FTG Assembly for the next phase of the bidding process. But first, some background. In another first, the Federation of Gay Games has implemented electronic voting to choose these finalists. Delegates from eligible member organizations have participated in an online vote along with FTG board members. We want to thank opavote.org, that's opavote.org, and Jeff O'Neill for their support in organizing this vote. But before announcing the results of this vote, we want to look at what lies ahead. 
In a few weeks, a team of FTG site inspectors will be visiting the finalist cities. Applications to serve as site inspector were received from men and women from all over the world. The FTG thanks all of these highly qualified people for their interest and support for the Gay Games. I would also like to thank in advance the three site inspectors who have been selected for this mission. They are Rod Lavery from Toronto, Annette Vachter from Cologne, and Sid Siegler from Los Angeles. We also thank Canadian journalist Kaf Sennett, who will be traveling with the team to provide reports from each city to our voters and the general public. I would also like to thank the co-chairs of the Site Selection Committee, Dennis Snyers and David Killian, for their work in guiding this process, and to the volunteers, Mark Neymark and Kent Hundreiser, for their support in the logistics of this very complex bidding process. And of course, our thanks go to the various FGG committees for reviewing and analyzing these outstanding bids. And above all, I want to thank all of the five, five bidding organizations and the hundreds of volunteers who have given the life to the dream of hosting Gay Games 10. We are also grateful to all individual, corporate, government, and institutional supporters for their contributions to the bidding organizations, including the necessary financial support for the bid. Whether you continue as a finalist or not, it has been a real privilege to work with you all. All bidders have shown imagination, dedication, and professionalism in their bids. We know that your commitment to the Gay Games will continue, no matter what the results. And we look forward to seeing many of you in August 2014 in Cleveland and Akron. And of course, before that, the three finalists will be present at the 2013 FTG General Assembly to be held in early October in Cleveland. While in Cleveland, delegates and guests will discover the venues for the 2014 Gay Games. The other highlight of the meeting will of course be the selection of the host for Gay Games 10. During the site selection meeting, FTG committees will present reviews of the bids Site inspectors will respond to questions concerning their visits to the finalist cities. And of course, the bidding organizations will make their final official presentations and respond to questions from FTG delegates, board members, and volunteers. For each bid cycle since Gay Games 4 in 1994, the FTG has held a competitive bidding process. Our experience has shown that in-person meetings and discussions are necessary and vital to ensure that the best choice is made for the host of the Gay Games. Meeting face-to-face -to, -face to discuss the pros and cons of each proposal and to hear different points of view enables voting delegates from member organizations who attend the site selection meeting in person to make an informed choice on the most important decision for the Gay Games. So, without further ado, the finalists who will be joining us this October in Cleveland are... Drum roll, please. Limerick, London, Paris. We congratulate the successful bidding organizations and again thank all who have participated. We know how hard you have worked and how committed you are to the Gay Games and we look forward to working with you to contribute your outstanding imagination and energy to furthering the Gay Games movement for equality through sport and culture. Everyone is welcome to join us in Cleveland where on Monday, October 7, 2013, we will announce the host of the 2018 games, Gay Games 10, the games that changed the world. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for your support for the Gay Games. We look forward to seeing you there, and thank you for your support for the Gay Games. <laughs>